Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP Object Oriented Programming. And our new topic is ALV by CL underscore S ALV underscore table class. One of the extremely, extremely important topic in every interview. This question is always, always asked. Have you developed a ALV using SALV concept? So every interview captures the question from this particular topic. Now, before we start, you know as of now two methods to display the ALV. What is first method? You know the traditional method of the ALV in which you used the various function modules. What is though what are those function modules? Reuse ALV list display, reuse ALV grid display, reuse ALV hierarchical sequence list display. So we use all those function modules. Then in terms of object oriented programming, we displayed the ALV using CLGUI ALV grid class. You know, we created the container. In the container, we displayed the ALV. We use the method set table for first display. Now, the first question comes into everyone's mind. We know function modules to display the ALV. We know class also to display the ALV. Why, why we have one more class to display the ALV? What is the need of this particular class? Now to understand this, we need to firstly understand ALV object model. What is ALV object model? What SAP thinks in 2004, yes. But SAP thinks we have so many, so many tools to display the ALV. What are those tools? Those tools are reuse ALV list display function module, reuse ALV grid display function module, reuse ALV hierarchical sequence list display function module. We have the class CLGUI ALV grid class. So we have so many pre-existing tools. Why, why we do not have one common point of entry? Can we combine all these tools and can we have one common point of entry? So reason behind this is SAP came up with the concept of ALV object model. ALV object model. What is ALV object model? It is a encapsulation of all the pre-existing ALV tools. What do you mean by pre-existing? It means before coming up with this concept, whatever the already existing tools were there, SAP encapsulated all those things. What are those pre-existing tools? Your list display function module, grid display function module, hierarchical sequence list display function module, CLGUI ALV grid class. So we have three display function module also. So SAP encapsulated all those things into one model. And that model is called as ALV object model. And reason behind developing and reason behind introducing this model is why, why we have so many tools. Can we combine all these tools? Can we encapsulate all these tools? So SAP came up with the concept of ALV object model and this class CLS ALV table is a part of ALV object model. So when SAP came up with ALV object model, SAP provided the various classes depends upon the display of that particular ALV. Suppose simple example, SAP provided a class CL underscore SALV underscore table. Now just think, 
whenever you are displaying the alv in the form of table what you know what are the various ways you know you know the function module reuse alv list display you know the function module reuse alv list display it display the alv in table format you know reuse alv grid display function module you know CLGUI ALV grid class. This, this is also displaying the ALV in table format. So SAP combined all these things, all these pre-existing tools into one class that is called as what? CL underscore SALV underscore table. Suppose for the hierarchical display, SAP came up with this particular class. You all know you worked on a function module for hierarchical display. This is the function module which we which is for hierarchical display. So all those things which are the all those tools which are the part of hierarchical is the part of this particular class. Similarly, SAP came up with CLSALV tree also. So whatever the already existing tools are there for tree, they are the part of this particular class. So that's why SAP is saying, why, why we have so many pre-existing tools. So SAP combined all those pre-existing tools depend upon the display. Suppose if we are displaying the ALV in the form of table, so SAP combined all those things into one class. Suppose whatever the tools are there for hierarchical, SAP combined into all this particular class. Whatever the tools are there for tree, SAP combined into this particular class. SAP encapsulated all these things into the all, all those things and the model is called as ALV object model. And under this model, we have the various classes depends upon the display format, whatever the display format is there. So if I will read the theory, you will get the more more clarity. So now we will start with the theory. Your CLS ALV table is a part of ALV object model. Yes, it is a part of ALV object model. We are using this particular class. We will use this particular class. Now, what is ALV object model? In this model, SAP encapsulated all the pre-existing tool. All the pre-existing tools means what? Whatever you know to display the ALV, any function module, any class which you know previously are the part of this particular model itself and depends upon that SAP introduce the classes. Suppose in this particular class, for example, in CLSALV table, SAP combined both the things. CLGUI ALV grid, you know, in this particular class, we are going for what container. If I will show you the program, you all know, whenever we have the ALV by object oriented, means CLGUI ALV grid, we are displaying the ALV in the container. This is the container. This is the container. But when we use the function modules, we have full screen display. If we use the function modules, suppose we are using the function module. At that time, we do not have the container. We have the full screen, full screen display. So you can see in CLSALV table, SAP combined both the things, both the pre-existing tool, CLGUI ALV grid, which is for container, which is displaying the ALV in the container, reuse ALV grid display, reuse ALV list display, which is used for full screen display. So all these things combined into which particular thing? CLSALV table. It means 
with the help of this particular class, you can display the ALV in container also. You can display the ALV in full screen also. So just think how, how it is encapsulating. Yes. Now, what is the advantage? The main advantage is already covered. We have single, we have collective interface to all the ALB tools you all know. This is clearly, we have one interface to all the tools. You can understand, we have one class for all these tools. We have one class for all the hierarchical display tools. We have one class for all the tree display tools. So there's no need to go for individual tools. We have one single tool itself, which is combining all the pre-existing tool. Now, what is the most important disadvantage and interviewer guaranteed ask this question. In which scenario you will not go for SALV concept? The answer is whenever we have editable ALV. Whenever you want to go for editable ALV, you cannot go for ALV object model. ALV object model means we cannot go for this class. We cannot go for this class. We cannot go for this class. So any class which is a part of ALV object model, it does not provide editable functionality. In your projects also, we saw so many times people develop the ALV using this particular concept because it is very much flexible. Once the practical will start, you will see if we in fraction of minutes itself, we can display the ALV. But whenever the customer comes up with the requirement of editable, whatever you developed is completely failed because whatever the classes are the part of ALV object model, they do not provide editable functionality. So if you want to go for editable functionality, you need to use either function models, list display, grid display, or you need to go for this particular class because you all know we have to put edit property is equal to capital X. So whatever the classes are under the ALB object model, they do not provide editable functionality. Many times interviewer will ask in which scenario you will not use SALB concept to display the ALB. So you can simply give the answer whenever we have a editable requirement, we will never, never go for this CLSALB concept. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely, extremely important has topic has been started. Yes. Now we are going for one more way to display the ALV and we are covering the class CLSALV table. This class will display the ALV in the form of table. Now, first question comes into everyone mind. We have traditional ways. We have, we already studied the class also to display the ALB. Then why we are learning one more way of object oriented programming? The answer is, but SAP think in 2004, why we have so many pre-existing tool? Can I combine all these tools and make a single point of entry? The single point of entry or single model is called as ALV object model. In this model, SAP combined all the pre-existing tools of ALV. Depends upon the display of the ALV. Because if you see, whatever the function modules are classes which are displaying the ALV in the form of table, all those combined into this class. Whatever the tools are there for hierarchical sequence, SAP combined into this class. Whatever the existing tools are there for tree, SAP combined into this particular class. And after that, we studied, yes, in this 
CLSALV table because this is the most most important one and 99.99% .99 you will always always display the ALV in table format. Hierarchical entry are very less asked requirements in by the customer but yes in the CLSALV table SAP combined your grid class also your grid display and list display function module also because you all know you already did the practical for this by using these things our alv is always always in the table format just see table format you can see table format and whenever we will go for cls alv table yes we can display the alv in container also we can display the ALV in full screen mode also because in this class, SAP combined both the things. Now, what is the advantage of this particular model which SAP gave? We have a collective interface now. There is no separate, separate tool. We have all the tools. We have a collective interface for all the tools. And what is disadvantage? Any class which is a part of ALB object model never, never provides a editable functionality. It means by this particular class, you cannot go for editable functionality. If you want to go for editable functionality, you have to use the function modules or you can individually use this particular class CLGY ALB grid class. In the next topic, in the next video, we will start with the practical part of the same. And yes, many people are asking factory method, factory method, factory method. So now we will start with factory method also because that method will be used in this particular class. So that's it in this video. Thank you.